Hello guys and welcome back to my shaving channel. This week we're going a little bit easier because I think we should all have a little bit of rest uh, from aggressive uh, razors and uh, speaking of easiness, stay traditional. My, I could probably say uh, the favorite shaving soap. It's mostly like the crope, you know, between the cream and soap. But what I like is, it is very, very, very frugal in use. The only bad thing is that there is a little bit of groove in this jar, so there will be a lot of leftovers which you can scoop out. But in overall, I think it's about 80 shaves so far with this soap and it still looks almost as new. Hope you can see, it's kind of yellowish. Speaking of easiness, Razor Rock Silver Tip Synthetic Brush. I wasn't using this for quite a lot. We have my share of yucky brushes and this one was a little bit neglected. And since I learned a little bit more my new soaps, I guess I won't be generating too much leather. Or to better say, excessive amount of leather. Now a word or two regarding the brush. And this was my, I think, most expensive brush like ever. Considering both bore brushes and synthetics. I think it was maybe just a tiny, tiny bit over 20 US dollars, so you can easily get two Yucky or maybe some DS Cosmetics brush for that money, but I hope you noticed there is no water dripping from this one, so maybe they are using the same fibers. Maybe it's just some, you know, overall industry standard material for cosmetic brushes and for shaving brushes, so they just used maybe different knot, because this is a little bit more dense and thicker than any Yucky or DS cosmetic brush, so... As you can see, too much leather, but I would just add a little bit of water. And uh, with this brush, I noticed that this was the main improvement in my shapes, to be honest. The razor and the blade, they are basically just the hardware, and whatever you do, the blade will cut eventually, but preparation and this voluptuous leather and ability to make fantastic leather with any soap or cream is what made all the difference for myself. So if I had to go through everything once more I would first start with investing a little bit more money in a better brush. Maybe not necessarily 20 bucks, but at least 10-15. I 
I think it is just just fight. And speaking of easy peasy shapes, Mercur progress today. I think I will go with number three. Why? Because I just don't want to think of anything. The blade inside is thermosharp. It is cutting through, but I must admit I enjoy setting four a little bit more. And I wanted to repeat the setting three, I think since had the Mercur progress a wicked week, I never dialed it down to setting three and it was easily rinsed, so. But uh, as I anticipated to have a little bit of leather leftovers and I almost every time make the second pass I thought that maybe I will just go with two very mildish shaves It doesn't seem to be quite efficient for my beard, like <laughs> this would be my normal one day beard growth, so I hope it will be much better on some other areas. I guess by now you know that I'm a fan of Permasharp blades which are very nice, very sharp, also very durable Just a tiny bit of water But as I commented in some of the previous videos the Mercure is Undisputedly very comfortable razor and their head designs are also very comfortable Very little risk of cutting yourself, so Nothing much to complain But I will show you in a second One maybe design flow maybe it was intentional the Top cap is a little bit thick on all models and the curvature is very high, so this makes uh, the razor uh, pretty nice for everyday shaves like Mula, it drives the blade away from the skin so you will really be less likely to cut yourself with a Mercure than with any other razor but it comes with the price that shapes might not be that close as with some other razors so I guess that the target audience For Mercure were people who just need to shave frequently people who don't want to whoops almost hit 
but also people who don't want to risk even the minimal skin redness or irritation. If that was the goal, then Mercor hit it. For my beard growth, which is very close to skin, meaning that the beard is almost growing flat. So that's why I prefer slants, a bit more aggressive razors, something to lift that whiskers. This one is actually pretty mindless. I think I won't be returning to setting 3 ever again <laughs> because it's just super slow and I really don't feel that I'm cutting enough whiskers so Perhaps we will see the third pass, first time on this channel. So the blade is great. The soap is great. But on this setting, it's almost like that the head design hides the blade and eliminates its true potential. In some other razors with Peron Sharp, I would be pretty, pretty finished even with the first pass. A lot of leftovers in here, maybe some on this area. Let's crank it to setting four, maybe four and a half, and I will squeeze this. So let's hopefully this will be enough. And with the third pass, I really do hope that there won't be any unpleasant surprises. Just to dry the hands a little bit more and let's see. Hear that? Almost as the blade is just now having the contact with the skin and the whiskers. And now this is something which I would call a decent shave. So, with all good intentions, And let's not forget that our road to hell is paved with those. I really think that even for the sensitive skin, I would molest my skin far less if I just quit like two passes ago. So. Sweet number four. And don't get me wrong, there is nothing wrong with the higher settings. Mm. 
they are just as comfortable but now it's only skin squeaking but at least with progress you know how to dial it if you went for 34C or 38 or any fixed bar option from Mercure and you get surprised and you feel that the razor is not efficient then you might be in a problem but if you can adjust it then problem solved quick rinse actually not much to rinse off because with the three passes I really peeled everything from the skin so hmm, it appears a little bit reddish in here maybe not so much but you know me I only trust the judgment of Brion so if it burns it burns if not, we will see. No, it doesn't. So, good soap, good brush, good preparation, mild razor. I would say even with three passes, no issues at all. Still, it might be time consuming. But... If you figure out what is working best for you, then you just tune it for four and a half, shave in one pass, one touch up and go, do something else. Thanks for watching, thank you for your comments, your subscriptions and see you next time. Bye!